Okay, that should be everything. Um, hang on one second. Okay, that's everything. Um, so yeah, I guess you're wondering what's with the creepy music, where is my Spoderman? Um, well, today I'm going to be playing Vampire because uh, it was free. <laughs> um, I had been meaning to play this for a while, uh, but never actually bought it. In fact, I actually planned on buying it this month anyways, and then found out it was free for PlayStation Plus, so... It's a win-win. It is made by the same people who made the Life is Strange games. Uh, games that I loved quite a lot. Um, especially the second one. The second one has arguably one of the best stories in video games. Fight me. Um, I really like their game style. You know, their... I don't know, I guess I'm just a sucker for all those choice-based things. And this seems to be in the same vein. <laughs> get, get, get it, because... <clears throat> anyway, um, I will be going into this blind. I know pretty much nothing about this game other than the fact that it was made by Don't Nod Entertainment, which, you know, life is strange. Alright, um, I'm gonna bore the hell out of you by going into options real quick. Uh... Just making sure there's like headphones options and stuff like that, but there doesn't appear to be. So I will turn on subtitles for you. Um, I'll keep them on medium. Name of speaker, yeah, I'll put that on as well, just for accessibility's sake. And I put on subtitles by default. Awesome. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'm just gonna jump right in then. They seem to already have it optimized for what I'd normally do, so there's no point in changing it. Um, story mode, play the original experience. Uh, fuck it, normal. Words I will probably be biting in the next few minutes. <laughs> get it. Biting, because... <coughs> you get it. It's fine. I gotta say, I really like the music so far. It's very Sherlock Holmes movie-esque. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? He seems nice. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. So wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once. 
Oh, I'm moving now. Okay. Yeah. I really like the sound design on this so far, too. just came from 4chan. Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening. There's one of those vermin. No, please, stop. I mean you no harm. Stop. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? No. I can defend myself. Kill the king! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left okay. me no choice. Kind of plays like the Witcher. Who 
are you? Stupid beast! Sorry. Please, stop! Who are you? Bloody leech! What do you want? I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me! Ah, 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 ah. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Okay, that's kind of ominous. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy the shadow takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Okay, like so far I am liking the vibe of this game. The aesthetic is pretty damn nice. Um, I can't tell whether this guy just kind of found his own house again, judging by the flashbacks, like conveniently, or... He's just somewhere that reminds him of his house. I don't know. Ah, he's about to find out he has no reflection.
Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still have so much left that needs doing. I kind of want this guy's coat back. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Ooh, I'm gonna see what you uh, mean about the wallpaper here. The wallpaper looks like bats. Oh. I mean, I don't, I, I don't particularly see what you're on about, but I don't know if I squint, I can kind of. Like, I know they're flowers, but like if I squint, I can kind of see bats, I guess. That's kind of neat. Bloody Diary. 15th of October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine, some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechan uh, apologies, mechanical shover, shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th of October. I talked to the man with the mechanical shovel. They told me they were digging a mass grave all around London. Safety measures apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Oh god, this is getting... <laughs> Man, what is it with games and just like... Going into plague territory? Uh, I don't know, because like... Resident Evil 3 released in March at the start of COVID. And it was a little on the nose. And I think The Last of Us delayed itself because of COVID. And they had to like change... Uh, what was it? They had to change their specific day from outbreak day to the last of us day because they didn't want to seem insensitive and now this gets released for free i mean not released but you know put up for free on playstation plus while we're in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> and they're talking about pandemic anyway is the flu coming back they had no work for me becky slept a little last night the foundry has been closed and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th, 19th of October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th of October, Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now it makes me cry. She says the voices outside at night. Oh, she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st of October. The men with mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. 
I heard shouts last night as if they were attacked and my attention span is terrible so I'm gonna exit out. Hey Jean. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Kinda wants to know what would happen if I had waited and didn't shoot myself. Uh, but also, um, cat brain just decided, yeah, fuck it, press triangle. Absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. Evolution hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest, spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Okie dokie. Well, this seems to be the first one that you unlock in anyways. Drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. I mean, this kind of read my mind because I always go for the healing options and extra health options first, so... In all honesty, I could probably spend about an hour or so just looking at the skill tree and planning myself out, but I don't want to bore the shit out of you guys, so I'm just going to jump into it. Ooh, I have enough experience points to unlock an aggressive skill. Where are the aggressive skills? <laughs> oh, right. The one that says aggressive. Okay. Claws. Blood spear. You throw a spear made of blood which can pass through enemies in front of you. Um, that sounds pretty sick, honestly. Shadow Mist. Place a cloud of shadows at a target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Um... Ah, I'm torn between claws and blood spear because I do love the idea of just, like, vampires with, like, super sharp claws. They, like, you know really fuck up their visage to, um, I don't know, they just look super imposing to me. A uh, close range skill that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go for the blood spear because I've already got, like, a machete. I don't know how sturdy that actually is. Um, but this actually has a ranged attack, you can throw it, and I assume by extension you can use it to hit people. Ah, fuck it. Oh, wait, no, you get it by default and you level one up. Or this is just the start of the skill tree. Alright, fuck it. Spare me up, blood daddy. Voice in my head. If 
I'm not mad, then. It must belong to the one who made me. What I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. There's someone at the door. I think, whatever the hell that knocking is. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here I go killing again, you know. Here's the leech. Here! Oh, that's me. My head's spinning. This guy's voice is familiar. It's locked. Uh, okay, do I just... Nope. I was thinking I could just knock it the fuck down, but... Uh, evidently I cannot. Can I knock the windows out? No. Unless... Ah. Oh, wait a second. Stake. Ooh. Offhand weapons can be used with pressing triangle. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Okie dokie. Um, I would also still ask you guys politely to bear I'm with me. I'm still in Southwark. I, I am still figuring this out. Over there! Go back home. There's one of them. Use your stake and inflict stun damage. A stunned enemy can be. Die, Fermi! Ooh, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. Yum 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 This is fun. I like this already. Oh my God. Every single, every fiber of my being is a fire. Ooh. I feel like a child learning the limits of my body. Oh shit. My strength, my reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Yeah, no shit, Jonathan. I mean, Sean, you've got PlayStation. It is free right now if you have, like, PlayStation Plus. Quarantine, contagious disease, <laughs> feel that. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written blank of the local authority, blank unauthorized employee of the blank shall alter, destroy or remove this card, blank violating this regulation will be fined. Okie dokles. What's this? Your king and country need you. Join the British ranks and help brave help the brave lads at the front. <laughs> Lol, nah. My poor sister. If only I had control of my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Gotta hold yourself a little accountable, buddy. Like, you did kinda kill her yourself. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. 
Ooh, I wonder if they play up on the whole thing that you can't actually enter a building without being invited in. It's locked, all right. Because, like, for people who may not be well versed in the whole, uh, well versed in the whole vampire thing, uh, it's a common staple. What will London have to say to me? That you can't actually enter a building without being invited in. At least in, you know, most vampiric fiction, anyways. I cannot enter. I have so many questions unanswered. Streets of London become a mausoleum. Um, nom nom. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the sense trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Alrighty. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Arkham Something games. Something dire must have come about. You know how, like, you can turn on detective vision and then you see, you know trails of um, blood and shit. I mean, not literal shit, as far as I know. Where has everyone gone? Oh, this is cool. What's this? Oh, that's just a flicker. Oh, wait, can I, like, eat that mess? Okay, Graham, later. You've already snacked on people already, you don't need a mouse. But I want a mouse! <laughs> oh, don't tell me I have to drink from a dog, that would suck! If I have to kill a single dog in this game, I will actually turn this game off. <laughs> Oh, so I can upgrade my pistol as well, that's neat. I can refill ammo. So do I... Do I has gun now? Can I... Can I use my pew pew? Okay, well it's not telling me how to use my gun in any case, or... Are they? Pressing triangle? Okay, fuck it. You know, I'm gonna see what the customization options are like for crafting. Medical treatments. For fatigue. Oh, so you gotta sleep and stuff. Neat. Oop, dropped my phone, which I'm using to read comments. Oh, fuck. Um. Eh. Okay, that's better. Um. For anemia. Cure a sick citizen during dialogue? And for sepsis. But I want to kill people, sir. I am a a a vampire. Okay, so I can Oh, used machete, and I can upgrade that with parts. So I can level two that shit right now with the handle part and the lead plate. That'd be neat. Um, my steak. Ugh, the irony. So, I need a tiny common handle part and a lead stick to upgrade the steak. And I guess to give it like a jagged tip or something like that. Giggity giggity. Um, and the, the pistol. Common trigger part. Okay, I have a common trigger part, but I don't have enough springs apparently. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay, so I think the only thing I can upgrade right now is this thing. Oh, wait, no, I need one more. I need 
I need two more handle parts and two lead plates. So basically what they're telling me is I can't actually upgrade shit right now. Okay, not going that way. Oh yeah, I forgot I was tracking. So I need to actually follow shit. So am I still actually heading the right direction or what? Um, oh wait, no. Footsteps, though. Again, bear with me. I, uh, I am going in blind. And my sense of direction is shit. I will get At lost. Last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the Turquoise Turtle. Hi, mister. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Haha, <laughs> you're charming. Did anyone enter the bar? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl. See? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Hey, I don't kink shame him for his bottle fetish. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Well, you were a delight to talk to, good I'll day. leave you to your bottle, then. Okay, a bartender always knows shit. My god, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab Yet. a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? <laughs> murders? <laughs> I don't know about any murder. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. I wouldn't know about that. Do like, you have any idea Do who that is? Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Hmm, fancy that. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the Turquoise Turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So, you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Same. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. 
I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of causing a commotion where is this motherfucker. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require them. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Well, so, lady me vampire, <clears throat> who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? Uh, I'd say that, but it's a little bit cliche, so... I mean, beyond this guy's first name and his profession, I don't really know who the fuck he is, so I'm being honest. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Uh, you seem like an expert. I'm a victim to... Uh, I mean, this one seems to cut right at the point. This kind of just would fuel the guy's ego, so... I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Um, okay, so what I can gather by the prompts here, this just moves the conversation along to like a point beyond return, where this allows me to actually ask questions. So... Well, I mean, I'm gonna ask what I want to know first. Who were you talking to? I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Fair. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Uh, what is this and brotherhood? And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Also fair. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. You invited me in. I followed a trail. Dracula noises. A scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. 
I mean, my hunch would go on the woman that he was talking to being the aggressor, since the trail led me here. So, I'm not sure. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh, I mean, would I end him? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying these vampire powers, so I think I just kind of demand answers. I'm not going to say I don't know. That's a little bit of a non-answer, so... I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Well, I think that went well. Um, track the killer, interrogate the locals. Uh, well, I'm gonna steal shit from this guy first of all, taking your money. Uh... So I can engage in conversation again, probably to get, like, the previous questions, if you decided to, like, progress the conversation further. Um... Hmm. Interrogate If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. I mean... Uh, footprints. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. Um, okay, I won't bore you guys with these. I will just go straight to... I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Okay. This what is happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Citizen hints. Okay. Hmm. Blood quality. Nom 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 nom. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Oh, so it's kind of like a bit of a Sherlock Holmesy sort of thing because I was just thinking to myself that it uh this game kind of plays like the um point and click Sherlock Holmes games, like you know the Devil's Daughter and stuff like that. Um, which I might actually stream on here sometime. A couple, of them are on, a couple of them are on PlayStation, and I would buy them again to stream them. Dyson Delaney. Okay, so let's just... Um, so I still gotta interrogate the locals. See if this asshole Hello, knows sir. more. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. Yeah, cheers. Okay, there's no new information here, so I'm just gonna... I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Oh, hang on a second. Is he getting tired again? Ah. 
Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint that you have discovered. Blue prompt. Cool. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Ah, so he was announced, was he? Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. I need to find him. It's a okay. matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Well, alrighty. Um, it says interrogate the public. Uh, I've already talked to her. Oh, well, oh, new objective. I can I can inspect the boats now. Look, I told you everything. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. Are they bitch. stupid or something? I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? Ooh. Okay. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. What's this? Some sort of note. Details. 30th October from G. McCollum, Docks Patrols. Object multiple deaths in the Docks region. We believe that a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning according to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town. But don't send rookies to investigate the abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech brothers. Okay, so I assume leech is like a slur for vampire. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing. There are blood here. splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Question Can I swim? No. It's not letting me swim. God damn it, I wanted to swim in a filthy canal. So he senses that there's blood on the other side of this. So, oh, here we go. Oh, that's what he was talking about. For some reason, I had it in my head. He meant like across that away. Follow the blood trail. Opportunity attack. Out of combat, silently behind. Oh, okay, so I can just, uh. Oh, so I can just fuck this guy up. Alright. Over there! Neat. 
ranged weapons. Equip and press triangle to use your ranged weapons. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. It's saying that I had to press triangle for my bullets, but eh, I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go along. It's locked, all right. But I've only been part of the guard three weeks to the day. All the more reason to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a bloodsucker's dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find it. And oh, that's another fast. person I can fuck up. Fair enough, nice. Tom. But why do they hide when it's so damn cold? Excuse me, mister. having too much fun with this. Okay, so there's more dudes outside, so I, uh -huh, I guess I just jumped the gun and went upstairs too quickly. But hey, if I didn't go upstairs, that douchebag with the flaming crossbow or whatever the hell he was holding could have got me, so it's, it was just, uh, you know, just planning ahead. Enemy card. I assume that's literally just what I was looking at a few minutes ago. Haha, I'm ahead of you, game. I'm ahead of you. Now, I could just shoot him, but since I actually don't know how to use my gun yet, even though I think that was just the tutorial that came up, but I pressed X on instinct, I think I'm just gonna suck Crush his blood. The leech, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't have to suck their blood every time I stun them, but I kinda want to, so... Uh-oh. I don't wanna die again. So I can block with. Okay. Hey. Yoink. Shotgun shell. I got a shotgun later? Okay, game. Okay. I'll bite. You get it? Bite? Because... <laughs> yeah, you, you get it. Rats are often located near hideouts using senses. Uh, why would I need to like, do it? Do I? Can I eat the rats? Or Yeah, okay, cool, I can. My hunch earlier was correct. I can't believe I'm doing this. I totally can believe it, and frankly, I'm okay with it. This is despicable. Oh, so maybe that's what that blood purity thing was about. Um, okay, I, I do seem to be able to get up there, and I get the feeling I'm not really going to be back in this area, so I should probably scope it out real quick. Oh, cool. So, for crafting. Which I'll probably never do on camera anyways. I'll probably do that shit off camera. Okay, so here I can rest. Um, but that would be kind of redundant seeing as I can't go out in sunlight, and resting now would, I assume, put me back in, you know, areas of sunlight, so... Which I probably jinx myself by saying because I gather in a few minutes... I, I assume this game has like a day-night cycle, and the sun's about to come up and burn me alive, so, you know, I have that to look forward to. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Okay, Marilyn Manson. Ooh, 
Ooh, an axe. Ooh, it's a scythe. Ooh, two-handed weapons. Equip a two-handed weapon and press triangle. Oh, so maybe that's why I can't use my gun. I've been using my fucking stake for my triangle weapon. I'm pretty happy with my machete for the time being, though. This place reeks of bloodshed. Oh dear God, not again. William, please stop. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Okay, some vamp on vamp action. Okay, so cool, I can't actually st stone other vampires. That's pretty nice. Because, for the most part, I'm, the, I'm not going to lie, the combat is very samey. Um, at least from what I've experienced. So, oh, my stamina bar does run out. Okay, so he can stun me. That's interesting. Oh, and when he stuns me, he bites me and regains health. Okay. I'm, I'm figuring the game out. Oh, now I can... Now I can strike. That is neat. You okay, mister? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Scal? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. She blooded him, calling it. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Ah, oh, thank you. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Uh, okay, I guess I've got to do some Batmaning here. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Okay. Um, I mean, I assume there's other clues here, and I wasn't just supposed to pick up a blood sample. Otherwise, they'd have just cutscened it. So there obviously is something else. Um, that there is something else that I need to look for. Okay, well now it's just telling me to board the boat, so maybe they just did want to show me a mechanic where I could take a blood sample. I apologize, I am not very observant. Graphics are a little bit dated, for the most part, but, like, it's very aesthetically Where pleasing. are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? 
What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stowe, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. Dude, the one the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. So, well, uh... Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is such as returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place Sold. to hide. I Money. even had Sold. the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, I'm really liking this so far. I mean... I already liked what I knew about it from the, you know, teaser trailer I saw, like, about a year or two ago. I think it was two years ago, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I was just expecting, like, a fun vampire simulator, like Vampire Blood of the Masquerade. Um, Dr. Swansea, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. 
Please give me my hand back, sir. Okay. Analyze the blood. Come on, you bastard! You, you can do, do better than that! Nah! It's my turn! Ooh, he senses nom nom. Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the spice of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Okay. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't buy. I'm Sir, a... please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Um... Well, you're just rude. Insult me again and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're jabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. <laughs> uh... Blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink the blood of your prey, you must first need to mesmerize them and lead them out of... Okay, so I actually am just killing this fucker. <laughs> nice, alright. Okay, this is neat. So do I lead him further this way? Like what am I what am I doing? Follow the red trail. Okay. Uh press X to embrace or circle to release. Nah, I'm gonna kill him, he was rude. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Can I hide the can I hide the body or I guess that was the purpose of taking him into the shadows. Ah, springs. I needed that to fix up one of my guns. Neat. To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Ah, uh, vampires are doomed to hell anyway. Fuck it. I mean, here, you give me the opportunity to, to be a vampire, I'm gonna be a bastard, so... Like, dude's already killed his sister, like, the, the bar is set very low here. Uh-huh. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Can I get an office? Fuck yeah. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. 
If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Well, this conversation was utterly delightful, so I'm just gonna... Thank you, Nurse Crane. Thank you for the directions that I'm gonna forget in a few minutes. All I know is second floor stairs that I I've already forgotten. Anywho. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Stairs to the left. Uh, okay, well this will count as the first floor. So, second floor. Well, never mind. <laughs> I guess they're going by American rules of second floor. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. I'm... I mean... I've seen worst offices. This is, um... This is pretty nice. All things considered, you know, considering he's like dead and shit. Undead. Whatever. Aluminium powder, shillings. I mean, does it count as stealing if it's my own shit in my own office? Pfft, not really. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh, don't tell me this is gonna be like an. Because, like, the people who made this game also made Life is Strange, and there's a plant that you can kill by watering it too much, so I kind of want to see, do I actually have to keep watering this plant consistently to make it live? I mean, because, like, they're giving me a glass vial here, do I need to fill it with water and, you know, keep the plant alive? Or were they just referencing the plant that I totally killed in, uh, Life is Strange? Locker article that I'm not gonna read. I probably will read the files in my own time, I just don't want to bore the shit out of everyone. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons? Alright. But what, what did I just make out of this guy's blood? Light regeneration serum. So I need... Uh, I've already given up. <laughs> Alright, so I can improve... Probably the machete. Used bludgeon? When did I pick up these? Oh, I have a hatchet now? Sweet. Okay, I'll bite. Okay, so I still need another trigger. Um, I'm also going to equip this. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Okay, like, before he goes to bed, I'm gonna see what I can equip and whatnot. Okay, so the map- oh, the map looks pretty neat. Um, offhand. How in the world do I equip- okay, cool. Okay, so I can have the revolver or the stake. Hmm, stake. Yeah, I'm gonna equip this. Oh, so I can equip both of them. Main hand. I'm gonna unequip this for... I'm gonna swap it out for the machete. 
And I suppose it's probably wise to have like a two-handed weapon as well. Um, I'm going to leave these two slots empty for the time being, because frankly I don't want to end up in a situation where my inventory becomes full when I find something cool. Um, empty slots. What's this? Okay, that's my powers. Neat. Alrighty. Uh, and sleep. So, can I level anything up? Alright, not yet. I can't upgrade the blood spear either. Can I get claws? Because I want claws. Claws would be cool. Nice. Okay. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Do you want to cancel? No. Can I get one of these? Increase your stamina. Yeah. I'm gonna need that. Increased blood absorption. Yep, gonna need that too. I know it seems like I'm being a little bit too um, spendy with my experience points, but uh, they're little things that I think would help. It builds up over time. I mean, if I'm also going to be gaining experience from biting the shit out of people, then I'm going to need to upgrade that first, so only makes sense to me. Okay, I'm going to pause here real quick. I'll be back in just a moment because, frankly, I really need to pee. <laughs> Enjoy the harrowing music.
And I am back. Okay. Major district events. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so like, whoever I kill will actually impact and make people talk and stuff. That's pretty neat. Very much in the vein of Don't Nod's style of choice-based shit. Um, okay, so I assume this is like... Crime rate, I guess? I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? <sighs> I have to talk to her again. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On Thanks my way ex explanation. Thank you, nurse. Wait, I had more questions, madam. Yes, doctor? Okay, that's just, uh... Yeah, I don't want to get to know you. I'm good. That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you. Although I am glad that it does ask, uh, it does give you the option to ask for directions again, because if you're a dumbass like me, um, you will forget. Like, I know it tells you on the compass and anyways, but that can only really get you so far. Um... Because if you played something like Fallout or anything like that, you know that just from looking the, at the compass it doesn't give you the best Scowl to voices get in somewhere. Dark. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody... I don't know where the hell the voices are coming from, so I'm just gonna do my job and leave. Humanity is no longer my problem. I am a vampire. I mean, normally in RPGs I'll go for the nicer options, generally. Um, but frankly, like... I have no emotional connection to this guy, I didn't make the character from scratch, therefore I have the absolute right to make him a bastard. So I will. Oh, so I gotta kill vampires in here. Neat. What's this? Oh, more vials. Alright. That'll come in handy for crafting. Alrighty, so the closer one... Uh, I assume it wants me to go upstairs either way, so... Unless... Oh, 
Oh, yeah, uh, maybe this wasn't a good game to stream because um, I'm a bit of an exploration nut. I probably will bore the shit out of you just by going into enter. random areas just for loot. And uh, I will also loot even when my inventory is full, so... Um, oh, he's having some nice lunch. I wonder if I can sneak up on him. Uh, oh! Oh my! Okay, I like the hatchet. I like it a lot. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Yoink. Man, this smorg has like terrible security. Uh, one second, the comments on this froze. There we go. It's locked. No shit. Key? No. Actually, yeah, I can swap out for my gun now with triangle, right? No? Uh, I don't know. I'll figure out the gun controls eventually. I'll probably try and do that off camera so I don't bore the shit out of everyone. Okay, so there's loads of blood here, so I assume it wants me to follow a trail. Okay, I thought that was a door, but alas, twas just a body. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Okay, um... Oh, hello. Ow. Rude. I was gonna do that to you. You don't get to do that first. Uh oh. We got a fast boy. Oh yeah, no, I'm looking for the... Yeah, this one. By the stairs. Aha! I did a thing. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not over a lot. Oh, I can steal this stuff. Um. Aha! Thought you'd get the jump on me, did you? I do wish the fighting mechanics were just a little bit clearer, but other than that, this play is pretty smooth. I love the camera angles and everything. Can I steal anything off your corpse, sir? No, okay. It's locked. Well, shit. Ooh, knife. Stabby. Although I quite like the axe that I'm using for the time being. I just had like a moment of, oh, is that my shadow? Oh, wait, I'm a vampire. Oh, wait, no, fuck, he does have a shadow. What gives, game?
Again, I, I do apologize for the wandering. I, um... I can't help it. sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Alrighty. Uh, so, one more ingredient to find, I guess, in this quest that totally just forces the crafting mechanics upon you. And I got the feeling I was supposed to get the other ingredient first, considering there's a crafting table right here, so, um... Fuck. Uh, at least I know the way now. I think. Probably. Maybe. Quite possibly. Okay, well, it's not in here. Um, I gotta go upstairs again, I think. Or do I? Yes, I do. Oh, hello. Ah, I wanted some numb on his blood. Okay, so it's in the room directly above, but in here. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> he said Mars. As popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself yeah, useful. Okay. I think there may be a crafting table on this floor because the little vampire logo doesn't have an arrow above it on my compass. Unless, of course, it was that little bit of um, raised platform. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go to the crafting table I know is there. Also, uh, if you're leaving comments, I'm sorry, I don't know if they're coming through because my phone is a little bit frozen. Uh, my YouTube app is bullshit. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry. If you're trying to say stuff. I love how one moment I said, oh yeah, I know the direction to go now, and now I don't. <laughs> Wasn't that way? Was it this door? It wasn't. Was it this door? It was. You have enough components to craft a treatment for fatigue. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, like, what's... Is that the thing that I'm supposed to make for... Okay, before I fuck myself and I end up having to actually get another, um... Bunch of these... Ingredients, I'm actually just gonna check what the actual objective is, rather than do s something stupid. That's collectibles, inventory, character. I will get the hang of this eventually. No investigations. Okay, well, looking at the map to see where I'm supposed to be would be handy. 
Okay, so I do have to craft a treatment for fatigue. Cool. That's all I needed to know. Can I create this too? No. Alright, so I just gotta bring this back to the nurse, I guess. When he's running towards the door, I keep expecting him to like just slam it open, but he just like stops in his tracks and then politely eases it open. I find that pretty funny. Okay, exit door, where for art thou? There we go. I hope this isn't frozen. Okay, here we go. Sorry, my um, audio cut out completely there. I was like, please, for the love of God, please don't crash. <laughs> this has happened to me too many times on stream. <laughs> First at Resident Evil, then Spoderman. When vampire nature conflicts with good British matters. <laughs> One of the nurses getting all introspective and shit over here. Nurse exposition. Exposition nurse, where are you? Ah, exposition nurse. Hello. Finally, you've returned, doctor. Did you find anything Finally? of value? A fucking vampire. Yes, right? quick as you've fuck. worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. When I show you the basic ingredients, you should be fine. You should be able to relate, considering you're so basic. Good day. Blood temptation. Neat. So I assume this is what the easy and hard modes entail, like, I'd say in hard mode your bloodlust is through the roof and then story mode it's like not a factor at all. So I'm kind of glad that I picked normal, because I feel like story mode in this scenario would be ma making the game just a little bit too easy. It's locked alright. <sighs> Vampire's worst nightmare, locked doors and not being invited in. Vampires just secretly Please, just have very Jonathan, low self-esteem. Come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we are able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. <laughs> One might say a gift from heaven. Sorry, I just realized how ironic that actually is. 
I'm good at taking your blood, but in terms of transfusing it, not so much. No, no, no. You know what? This is kind of what I would say in this situation. Maybe not as dramatic. It's like, I wouldn't say, oh, your words bring comfort, or oh, this isn't a gift. Edgelord, edgelord, edgelord. But like, I mean, it is pretty ironic, you have to admit. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Alan Poe? Um, I wouldn't be a total dry shite about it. And I wouldn't say, oh, we need each other, so yeah, whatever, no need to apologize. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. I like Edgar. Edgar's nice. I thought he was a bit of a prick at first, but you know what? I respect him. Actually, you know what? I don't think I even thought he was a prick, because, like, he was just being super vague, and he had no reason to trust me, but I had no reason to trust him. But, like, that encounter was just a little bit... Bleh. But you know what? Edgar's good people. Be a shame if I were to drink his blood. <laughs> vampire noises, vampire noises, vampire noises. You see, Cami, I was thinking the same thing. Also, hi Sean, welcome back. Was your um, YouTube doing a glitchy glitch? And hey, just because you've never seen me in daylight doesn't mean I'm a vampire, and just because no one's ever seen me sleeping doesn't mean I'm a vampire. <laughs> what are you talking about? The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. Yeah, you'll sweet, be back round later after I drink his blood because he's dying. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well in spite of the brevity of our encounter. I don't feel played. I mean, I wouldn't put a by Swansea to fancy vampires, but you know what, you know, friendly faces. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. Vampires I hope you're more too. disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions. 
but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Yikes. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually just about to walk away, but it doesn't seem like there's an option for it, so... Uh, do I help her first? You know what, I'm gonna ask my questions first, because it doesn't seem to impact this yet. Small talk. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. I'm not sure I believe you, but I also want to stay in her good books. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. Yeah, play to her ego. You make good. me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first... Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Oh, but I want to. Oh, no fun. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please can't I just kill him? Please. Unless, actually, yeah, that's a valid question. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. Fair. My suspicions lean toward a patient, or their family. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Oh, so she doesn't know who it is. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to ask why solve this yourself, because first of all... I scratch her back, she scratches mine. And then for another thing, if she doesn't know who the fucker is, she's not in a position to ask questions. So, me. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? <laughs> this is an honest question. I mean, I need blood too. You are aware that I too know the thirst for the Scarlet Nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drop MP here without her hearing off. about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life? As others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Okay. Simple 
like with no respect. I can already tell you're going to be a fucking delight. Hi! What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Up my ass picking daisies. If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. Ha! <laughs> How brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I'm sorry, I actually need a minute because she's reminding me of someone I know. And I can't say on stream who that person is. But I do require a moment. <laughs> okay. I mean... I'm gonna ask her out, right? Even though I probably know the answers already know, because why else would the quest be that short? It wouldn't be. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches, greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. What a cunt. Ooh, I can steal shit. Sweet. Small bag of junk. The patients and staff <laughs> might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Uh, I mean, this guy has no reason to be dishonest. He's a priest. Am I right? <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Hampton. Uh, How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Honestly, Cami, I was thinking the exact same thing. I was kind of like, please, if you just weren't such an asshole, the nurses would actually get you the fucking blanket. Um... I mean, part of me wants to ask him questions, but part of me also knows that he's also not part of the investigation itself. Also, I'm kind of just wondering, is he a priest, or does he just wear a cross, or like a pastor or some shit? Because he was talking about his flock, like he could just be some religious nut. Uh, personal questions. He might be the blackmailer, who knows? Probably not. Made friends since you arrived? That's Have you a valid made question. friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You I can never only imagine she her was her very pampering. popular in her past. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. 
To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Also, this guy here, Sean Hampton, reminds me of a guy that I worked with in the Project Art Center theater. His name was Peter. Nice guy. Good recommendations for books, actually. Uh, he's the guy who actually got me into reading Dune. Um, I'd only ever really seen the David Lynch movie, and now there's a new movie coming out. But, gotta say, anyone who likes sci-fi, highly recommend the book. Well, books, plural. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Oh, fuck off. I mean, why don't you use why your cross Why didn't you William? use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Uh, I've already decided that I don't like you based on my religious prejudice. Hi, how do you feel? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. It's like, I say religious prejudice, what I mean by that is, like, I have absolutely no problem with people who want to practice religion, but when they try to force it upon others and, as he said, put them onto the, the right path and let them believe in the Lord, all that sort of bollocks, I think that's just kind of wrong because it, it takes the choice away from the person to practice whatever worship they want. Um, like, that's just fucking wrong, in my opinion, because, I mean, organized religion's already ruined enough in the world. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna stop myself there, because I'm either gonna piss someone off, or I'm just gonna run my mouth. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly... Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. You know, I'm not even going to finish this train of questioning because, frankly, you're giving me nothing. I actually would rather not know anything about your life in London. Goodbye, sir. Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. <sighs> Find Nurse Pippa Hawking and Dorothy Crane. Okay. Okay, now it's time to go back in. Okay, so I assume somewhere upstairs. How can we be sure we're making right. a difference? Don't waste your time with me. 
Um, if this starts taking too long, I might actually switch games, because I actually didn't expect to, uh, playing this for so long. I might swap to Spoderman in a little while, unless you guys want to actually keep watching this. Because uh, again, I'm just, I guess I just get a little bit paranoid that people are getting bored of countless amounts of exposition. <laughs> Okay, find Dorothy in this area. So that doesn't actually give me the exact location, but... Eavesdrop. Okay. That's just some dude. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Well, that was pretty suspicious. It's a pretty slow burn, but I kind of dig it. It, um... Like, it kind of reminds me of Don't Nod's other game, Life is Strange, just with all the question segments. Only difference here is you can't go back in time or whatever the fuck. Or you, um... Don't have a particular kind of mini-game to play with the dialogue options, kind of like Before the Storm. But I do like the fact that you can kind of go into different webs of uh, dialogue. Like, I do love dialogue-heavy games. For sure. He's locked the door behind him. I need Man, to find another if, way to follow him. If there were a drinking game for every time poor Jonathan walks into a locked door, uh, if there were a drinking game for that, uh, people would be dead. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Oh, it tells you resistance isn't shit. Okay, so he's resistant to range attacks with my gun. That's handy considering I don't know how to fucking use it, so... Okay, enemies are getting just a little bit beefier, that's kinda neat. Oh. oh, well. First death of the game. I mean, technically second, considering, you know, he's a vampire. Blood of the citizens is the fastest way to evolve. Well, you didn't have to sell me on it. I don't like people. It's like, it's the fastest way to evolve, yes, but is it the most moral way to evolve? Not that I care, I'll probably still eat, you know, the population. Frankly, I'll probably just, like, blood the fuck out of people who are, um, rude. Or just be like Hannibal, but, you know, a vampire. A hampire. Okay, I think I need to start the train of investigation. Oh! Loot. Uh huh, man's been savagely beaten. Da 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 da. 
Uh, you know what? I'm a stubborn little shit. I'm gonna try this again. I think I can defeat him. <laughs> Okay, now, where the fuck is this guy? Okay. I wish there was a sneak button so I could actually, you know, sneak up and get the drop on these guys. Ow. Hey. No, no. No touchy. Oh, what, all of a sudden I can't fucking crouch? Like, what's... What gives? Can I crouch? Is there a crouch option? What's, uh... Do I have to, like, find a different fucking way down? Is it beneath you, sir, to, like, crawl through a sewer grate in your own hospital? By God. Can I just... I actually can't crouch. That's, um... Frankly, that's bullshit. Yeah, 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 you can't breathe. I can hear you. Okay, so that's where he is. But I can't actually get to there yet. Can I go this way first, or...? Oh, that's my way out. Never mind. Wow, I actually can't believe they made me take the long way because I couldn't climb through a grate. I get the feeling I'm walking in the opposite direction to where I'm supposed to be going. Oh wait, no, here we are. Oh fuck. What sort of creature is this? Oh, the sewer dog that the uh, fucking bartender mentioned earlier. Well, he's already beating the shit out of me, so I think I'm already- yep. Screwed. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it here, and then, like, level up a little off-screen, just so you guys don't have to just watch me die over and over. And I have been streaming for... Uh, how long? How long has this broadcast been going? Well, it won't say. So, I mean, I've been at this for a couple of hours, but I will change game briefly to Spoderman. Or will I? Who knows? Um, yeah, I've been streaming for 2 hours 15. So, I will save and swap games for a little while. Um, because... I am nearly at the end of Spider-Man, so... I mean, I might as well finish one of the games on the list first, right? So, I will be back in five minutes. Maybe ten. <laughs>